Hello and welcome back to the third uh, clip of Let's Play Crisis. Now, um, ooh, I see this guy here. Whoa! I'm getting a close. Uh, lag here. Whoa. Uh, kind of handy around corners. This is back when, uh, see how I can, like, pivot. Oh, a little head there, popping out. Pwned. I didn't see these guys. Weird. Um, shotgun. Do I want that? Uh, sure. Why the hell not? Since I already low on ammo, this thing. I don't. I don't really like the shotguns on this game because they feel kind of underpowered, and because it's uh, takes too much, too much of a long time to uh, for the shotgun to shoot whoa was that the old gun yeah that was the old gun. to shoot again so i mean since it's such a high difficulty level um you're gonna get raped anyway so the only thing that really works are shot to the face um now uh i've got a couple of comments on my past videos that i should really try some of the mods out there that exist for crisis Ooh, look at that scenery uh, such as Life Sis, I think it's called, which is supposed to make the game uh, much prettier. Well, not prettier, but it seems to have very decent lightning uh, effects and improved uh, sun rays and shit like that. But um, I tried installing that and I immediately ran into a couple of problems. Um, I'm gonna take this card here. Uh, first, the program wouldn't install, and so I had to reinstall it. And once I got it installed, I, I had to like you had to, you had to like to do two installs on it. So I installed the second uninstall the install, and that crashed. And whoa, is that an enemy? Hmm, my my mouse been doesn't seem to work very well. Huh, anyway, is that a guy in there? That's weird. There we go. Then I never had any problems with the mouse before. So um, I tried reinstalling uh, Lifesys again, and I had to like install it like three times until I finally got it working. There are a couple of enemies here. Yeah, it's a there. I'm gonna get a tree and go here. Throw a grenade. Did I get the car? I just think I did. Anyway, so I finally got Lifesys working, and sadly, I ran into some problems into the game immediately because. What the hell? It seems that the game doesn't have very good uh, support for 64 bit systems. I'm running this on a, on a Windows. 7, 64 bit. And I ran into some crash issues when trying to run Lifesys. And uh, got a little bit off track here. And after finally getting Lifesys to work, uh, I got like some models that were not working properly. Like the enemies would show up without having weapons arm. And uh, just really weird glitches and everything. I know that th it's not supposed to behave like that because I ran Lifesys on my old computer once on my XP rig and that worked fine. But here just did not want to run at all. And I think at, a, at one point I got Lifesys running, but my performance was so bad uh, on this machine uh, that I, I had like s very bad frame rate. So, yeah, I eventually I gave up on that because, to be too truly honest, I felt that I wanted to play this game the way the developers intended it to be played. I know that the developers put a lot of developing tools into the game so that you were like free to develop and mod the way you wanted to. There's no way uh, I could say that developers wanted us to mod it like this, but 
to be honest, the game is already good looking as it is. And uh, I don't know. I really don't see it as a. You know what? I'm gonna try the shotgun here. Might be definitely if they're close enough. Where are they? Oh, they're too far away. Like I said, you have to be a real at gun points uh, for the shotgun to be even remotely effective. And on this difficulty level, you really have to be careful what the hell you're doing. Now, this guy can take out with a shotgun. He's the last and only one. Shotgun to the face! Um, so, yeah, unfortunately, I couldn't get life just to run. And. I'm not sure if it's supposed to, uh, you know, take more CPU performance than the regular game, but I'm already, uh, I remember that Crisis already, when it got released, it was kind of unstable, and I think that life just might have some problems with running it, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I just used my grenades, but this is what's so good about the game, I can actually get past this part of the level, even though I used up nearly, nearly all of my grenades. Uh, there's like there's always this liberty to it, so... There's one guy close here. Yeah, where are they? There's one guy. Of course, grenade would uh, help in a moment like this, but it's not a necessity. Just a little bit more difficult. Ah, oh, they're they're by the radio antenna up there. Uh, the thing is with uh, no, man. Get to the yeah, yeah, yeah. Stop bitching. What have you got, Prophet? Just get up here. You wouldn't believe me if I told you. On my way. Oh, is he? Ah. <laughs> The dudes here. Ooh, great. Ow! Burnt my ass. Anyways, um. I've already ran into so many problems just recording this footage that I really don't want any more like screw ups or anything that could possibly impede my ability to record this footage. I'm already recording this footage at like I think that it's more than one gigabyte per minute already as it is. So, uh, that alone takes up a lot of my CPU usage. So, uh, I, I don't think people realize that when you're recording something, like, your frame rate, frame rate drops by half automatically. Well, not a half, but like, at least a third. That's what my frame rate drops to when I'm uh, recording this stuff. Uh, see, the problem with Fraps is that when you're recording stuff, ooh, ammo and grenades. I like grenades. Uh, Fraps only records stuff on compressed, and what that basically means is that it records a really big files, and it doesn't compress them whatsoever. So that alone takes up quite a lot of processing power from uh, uh, pistol. Takes up a lot of power from the CPU, so. Um, it's supposed to go there. No, it didn't come from here. No, it didn't come from here. Uh, so I'm already using the CPU a lot, and adding like an add-on like Lifesys that maybe takes up more CPU, I won't be able to record this footage already as it is. So, maximum strength. Uh, yeah, you could jump extra high if you're in strength mode. I should really bind a couple of keys for suit powers. Uh, I don't know, maybe, no, I don't know which buttons I should bind those, because I'm using, I'm always toggling between visibility and shield all the time. 
Oh yeah, here's the infamous cutscene. See how pretty everything looks? How smooth every rock and everything looks? And sure, I have anti-aliasing set to 4, but it still looks incredibly well. It's almost amazing how much thought we're put into this. Can I get up here? Yes, I can. So yeah, now we're gonna go to this cutscene right here. <laughs> uh, the jump you float onto the to the cutscene right here. You up. You believe this? I'm gonna most likely uh, cut this off from the. Looks like someone had a little trouble parking their boat. From the clip.